Hey guys, first off, I want to congratulate three specific people who have recently passed their NCLEX exam and have emailed me to uh, notify me. Um, let me see, it's uh, Jen from White Plains, New York. Congratulations. Patrice from Kissimmee, Kissimmee, Florida. And Anna from Chicago, Illinois. Well, congratulations and good luck on your new journey as a super awesome nurse. Now, as you and I know, management and prioritization is a very important concept that you have to know for your NCLEX exam. Management involves obviously the delegation of duties, right? It also includes assignment supervision and the evaluation of the licensed and unlicensed personnel. And that means knowing the specific roles or even overlapping roles of the unlicensed personnel such as the CNAs and you as a nurse or an LPN. Also, keep in mind that this includes legal and ethical accountability, okay? And obviously, like I mentioned before, managerial responsibilities such as the delegation of duties and supervision and, and role expectations, which is very important to understand in order for you to pass your NCLEX. Now let's talk about prioritization. Now, prioritization on the other hand is simply taking in priority of what is necessary in certain circumstances, right? With that in mind, I want to focus on neurological drugs or neuropharmacology, okay? And look at how prioritization would be applied to situations involving the use of certain neurological drugs. And that is a concept I want you guys to learn, which is understanding each category of neural drugs and learning the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics so that when we are given a priority question in connection with these drugs, we then can quickly anticipate and look at the bigger picture and slowly analyze the problem and start eliminating the wrong options and eventually getting the correct answer. When we talk about neurological drugs, I want you to remember the prefix anti or anti, A-N-T-I. It can be used as an adjective or a prefix, which basically means opposite or opposed, right? Now, when we have an anxious patient, the doctor would prescribe that patient an anti-anxiety or anti-anxiety medication, correct? And the same concept goes with a patient with a seizure or a patient with, a, with Parkinson's disease in which we give an, the patient an anti or anticonvulsant and an anti-Parkinsonian agent. Now, with that in mind, I want you to focus on five specific categories of neurological drugs which you will most likely encounter in your NCLEX exam. And... I, I gave a name for these for these drugs, and I call these categories the anti-5 neural drugs. And those five categories include anti-anxiety drugs, anti-convulsants, antidepressants, anti-Parkinsonian agents, and antipsychotics. Now, first, I want to look at antidepressants, which I believe is very important to know for your NCLEX exam, because the fact that antidepressants incorporates both mental health and also as a common pharmacological medication plus also there are several priority concerns that you need to establish as a nurse when giving um, antidepressant drugs therefore it's a big reason why you will always see antidepressant drugs in your NCLEX so let me ask you a question what are antidepressants antidepressants are drugs used for the treatment of depression and we all know that but also understand that they are also often used to treat a wide range of other conditions, such as anxiety disorders and obsessive compulsive disorders. So this means that it has an overlapping effect on other disorders. Remember that it takes usually up to three weeks for an antidepressant to have its full effect on our patient. Now, let's look at the three major subcategor subcategories of antidepressants and that includes TCAs or tricyclic antidepressants, your MAOIs or 
monoamine oxidase inhibitors, and your SSRIs, or selective serotonin reuptake, reuptake inhibitors. Okay, now first we're going to go over TCAs, or what we call the tricyclic antidepressant drugs. Now, the majority of the TCAs act primarily as a, what they call the serotonin norepinephrine reuptake inhibitor. Now, basically, to simplify that, basically what it means is, what it does is it blocks the serotonin movement and the norepinephrine movement, which causes elevation of the synapses of these neurotransmitters. And then, therefore, it will enhance, enhances this neurotransmission within the nervous system. Now, why does this work, you ask? Well, simply because both serotonin and norepinephrine have beneficial effects on mental disorders, specifically depression and anxiety. Now, let me simplify this concept. Now, with tricyclic antidepressants, it eases depression by affecting the chemical messengers in the brain, or what we call neurotransmitters. And as we know, these naturally occurring neurotransmitters are used to communicate between the brain cells, right? So, your TCA, or tricyclic antidepressant drugs, block the absorption of the neurotransmitters, specifically serotonin and norepinephrine, which in turn makes these chemicals available in the brain. And this allows a better neurotransmission within our brain cells, which results in a better mood. Now, the two important TCA drugs that you might encounter in your NCLEX exam would include Elevil, which is amitriptyline, and imipramine, or tofranil. Now, many side effects of TCA drugs may be related to what we call the antimuscarinic properties of the TCA. So basically, this means that it is manifested almost as an anticholinergic effect. So basically, the side effects is similar to, let's say, atropine, right? Which would include dry mouth, blurry vision, constipation, and urinary retention. Also, we need to remember that we need to tell our patient to get up slowly in bed because TCA or tricyclic antidepressant drugs causes orthostatic hypotension. Now, on the next videos coming soon, I will go over the two other categories of antidepressants, which are MAOIs and the SSRIs. And I want to thank you guys for watching and listening. Study hard and good luck in your NCLEX exam. If in any way you find value in what I do with these NCLEX reviews and feel that other reviews out there are just too expensive and not even helpful at all, um, don't hesitate to check out my audio, my audio review and my online review courses, um, which is on the website. Thank you so much again. Good luck and God bless.